try this again here. We are on the DJI Pocket 3 Insta360 X4. And we are trying the in cap display and we'll in cap display. In cap video and we will compare and we'll see what we like better. And then with the click of this, we're gonna be looking out there. So we'll center this. Boom. So that's where we're at. I can do this after uh, in the Insta360 Studio app and point the camera wherever I want it to. It's it's capturing in 360 degrees uh, with this Pocket 3 and the gimbal. I have to aim and kind of be a little bit more conscious of the shots I'm getting because what you get is what you get. The 360, you kind of get a little bit more and. And to get that a little bit more, it seems like you gotta work a little bit more too. So we'll see if we like that. Yesterday's experience, we did a, I did a, a keyframe setup and export so we can put it into a video editor to put side by side these two cameras. So that workflow, it's, it's a little monotonous. It's, it was kind of slow, but I do realize that it is working with a larger file than what I am with the DJI Pocket 3 because it's capturing everything versus this little, I don't know the actual field of view on it, but it's, uh, it's 20 millimeters and that's definitely a whole lot wider than that. So doing some tests and once we get back to the to the office there I will do a little scrub check and see how we're doing and we will make a comparison video and put it out there and don't forget if you like either one of these affiliate links are below Insta360 I've got two links for that because a I'm an affiliate with Insta360 and B I'm an affiliate with Amazon so you'll you'll see the links down below for that and any other camera gear that I use, like when it comes to like DJ Mic 2 and the newer extension handle for the for the Mic 2. Boom. It also works with a, a whole bunch of different other uh, wireless mics, so not just the DJI Mic 2. It'll work with the Rode, it'll work with the Hollylands. Comicas and stuff like that, so it'll work with others. Been uh, debating on whether or not I should get the DJI Mic 2 receiver and necessary items to make it work on the on the X4 over there. Because as it is, the the Bluetooth connection between this on that is less to be than desired. I kind of like it. I'm used to the audio that it gives on the on the Pocket 3. It's full, rich sound. Right now, we're not using the mic. It's it's off. It's we're just using the internal mics on both cameras right now. And uh, tell me what you like most. So right now, we are full audio on the DJI on the DJ on the DJ Pocket 3. Now, what do you think of the audio on the Insta360 X4? So, we'll keep on trying, keep on practicing here. We gotta, we gotta log some time in here to see if, if it's what I want after within this first 30 days. Otherwise, I'm gonna exchange it, and get a DJI Act. Right now, we are just doing some tests out here. The problem with this DJI Pocket 3 is it's 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 rugged built but it's not you know action cam rugged built so it's it's also it's not waterproof it's not splash proof the x4 on the other hand it's it's it claims to be waterproof up to 10 meters without the dive case just got to make sure that all your doors and all that stuff and you got no orange on the uh, on the latches visible so action cam wise that will cover us and then also for like 
any wet stuff like if I was on the on the beach and wanted to go in the water and stuff like that we could with the X4 or we can't with pocket 3 It's always nice to have a couple of different cams so it's it's nice to have top end for for this for vlogging and then top end for 360 videos I don't know if the 360 videos is gonna full-on compete with this for vlogging and stuff like that but sometimes it's nice to have a minimal kit and and just uh, make do with what you have in one of my last discussions uh, doing a test on this I I'd consider using both at the same time on the same handle and having the Pocket 3 focus on me and then have the 360 out there for all the other video and then if there's anything that needs the the detail that the Pocket 3 can give us we could give them you know the the 180 shot of that as well been hesitant on buying any accessories for this girl right at the moment because like I said we're on a trial basis right now so I don't know if I want to blow any more dollars on an item that I might not keep so I got to keep on testing and seeing how this does and handles everyday videos that I would make so most times that I would make a, a video would be sitting in my truck as we're talking topic comes up let's hit record and we will talk about what's on the mind and bring you some information and help you guys out so yeah let's check out the front facing boom How's the audio sounding on there? So we'll start by going, here's the audio on the DJI Pocket 3 as we're following this rig. And here's the audio on the Insta360 X4 following this rig. All right, I think I like it, we will keep on testing next one we're gonna go out I'm gonna try and go outside and use a vlogging handle and we will see which one works out better thanks again don't forget to like share follow subscribe